There's been signs of life recently at Kilmarnock. Two wins from their last three games, plus they're now scoring goals, thanks in the main to Chris Boyd and young number 10 Chris Johnston. As for Hearts, their tenure in the top flight of Scottish football looks to be coming to a close on minus three points. After four straight defeats, they started the day 14 points adrift at the bottom of the table. Commentary comes from John Barnes. Gary Locke doesn't have many options to freshen up his heart side following the loss to Celtic, so the Tynecastle men peeled the same starting 11. Kilmarnock manager Alan Johnson makes one change to his side. Michael Gardine comes back into the midfield with Barry Nicholson, the player who drops to the bench. To celebrate the life of Jamie Prior to this match, a minute's applause to celebrate the life of former Hearts youth player Jamie Skinner, who passed away last week. Scali gets it back out to Chris Johnston. That's a good delivery. And there's Chris Boyd in the 13th minute. Unlucky for Hearts. It's Boyd on the score sheet for the 10th time this season. And it was created by one Chris and scored by another. Jackson Irvin. And towards Gardine. Lovely touch by Boyd. Excellent stop there by Jamie McDonald. Good skills from the big striker. Neat flick away from the two defenders. And Patty on to Walker. Teasing McKenzie. Doing well with the shot. Craig Sampson looked as though he saw it late as it arrived in his area. Still managed to get it away though. Pesola. Finding Johnston. Neat skills. Still Johnston. Curling efforts. What a goal that is from the youngster. Terrific curling effort there from Chris Johnston. He left Hearts players in his wake and left Jamie McDonald with not a hope from that effort. And towards Boyd. Chris Boyd makes it 3-0 to Kilmarnock. Neat passing from McKenzie, little dummy by Johnston, set up the opportunity. McKenzie setting up. Clossy. There's Boyd. He was dreaming of the hat trick there. Wry smile that he's missed it. 11 goals so far this season. That should have been 12. Mackenzie. And towards Boyd. Oh, neat flick. Chris Boyd. He's desperate to get the match ball. But it's not materialised so far. Lovely flick. But he couldn't keep the shot down. Walker doing well. Clossy. A bit of good fortune for Kilmarnock defensively there. Good creative play from Walker. No takers from Hearts. It was Clossy who hit that against Ashcroft. Irvin, Johnston, finding McKenzie, oh in the corner, terrific striking there by Rory McKenzie, that ties it up for the Rugby Park side, an excellent strike from McKenzie, his first of the season. I'm not going to stand here and make excuses because we can compete better than what we did today and uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you've got experienced players out there today, you've got to do better, especially in the first half and uh, we simply never done enough today when we merit in and out of the game. To be fair, the boys played great today, there was some really good movement, uh, I thought we controlled the game um, and we've got some day the quality of Chris Boyd up front, you're always liable to score goals, he scored two and can quite easily have scored four or five. Well, a great performance from Chris Johnston, but the renaissance of Chris Boyd continues apace, Stuart. And yesterday, they could have had about five goals in the end, couldn't he? 
knowing uh, knowing Boydy as I do, I think his, his with his standards he'll he'll be disappointed he didn't go away with a match ball. Uh, he's an absolute master at finding space in the box. And we seem to be talking about the same two players every week, Chris Johnson and Chris Boyd. Yeah. Great link up, really good dummy there by Chris Johnson. Uh, and Boyd knows exactly where to put the ball. Um, you know, he's a very clever player, lovely touch. That's actually a great save, you know, hits the, hits the target there. Uh, I think this one he'll be particularly frustrated with because it's on a plate for him, finds a bit of space in the box. He'll have expected to score. Uh, and he's got the defender on toast here, lovely touch <laughs> over his head. And you would expect him just to side foot it at the near post. I was really surprised. I think he'll be, he'll be pig sick because, he, as you say, he could have had four or five. Absolutely. And statistics really starting to add up for Chris Boyd as well this season, as we can see from this. And he's looking pretty happy about it, as you might expect. 18 appearances, 11 goals. And in his last four games, as you can see there, well, five goals from four games and uh, just 30 years of age, Billy. A real rejuvenation for Chris Boyd. Are you at all surprised that he's come back to Scotland and well, hit this rich streak of form once again? No, he's, he's a top player, but I think uh, with experience, uh, his game awareness has got better. He knows he had to work harder, he's doing all that. I think it's not just about his goals, he scores most weeks now, but he, he brings so much more to the, the team and he looks as if he's leading a few of those commanding youngsters. So it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, I'm not trying to sell him on the programme, but <laughs> you're looking at teams like Hibbs and Aberdeen who are struggling for a real top quality striker. And, uh, you know, he's got, I think he's at the end of the season, he could go mm -hmm. a pre contract, but he likes it down Kilmarna, it's not far from his, his home. Um, he's got a dilemma because he, he's at the top of his game. Yeah, there's life in the old dog, yeah, that's for sure. And a few other performers uh, this season, Billy Mackay attracting a lot of interest. Do you think we could see much movement in January? Well, I hope for, for Kilmarnock's sake that, uh, that Chris stays where he is and at the same, you know, those two players are absolutely crucial um, to, you know, to Billy Mackay, to Inverness, Cali Thistle season. So I, I would like to see them stay put at least till the end of the season. Guys, for the moment, thank you very much indeed. How does all that leave the Scottish Premiership table looking this evening? Well, there we have it. Celtic are now 11 points clear at the top. But the big winners on Boxing Day, well, that was Motherwell. Their away win over Aberdeen meant they shot up from fifth place to second. Down at the bottom end of the table, Partick Thistle now four points ahead of Ross County, who themselves remain 14 points clear of rock-bottom hearts.